Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Sunday School video. I hope you all are doing well, and congrats on finishing your school year! I think most, if not all, of you are done, so that's awesome, and I hope that you can celebrate and enjoy the summer um, days coming up. I hope that you can also find some rest after a long and stressful, difficult, but also good year, hopefully, too. Um, actually, to begin our video for today, I wanted you guys to actually take about three to five minutes and pause just to be still and um, limit your distractions. Maybe go to a quieter place if you're watching this in a loud place. If you're watching this on your phone, maybe just pause it and put it down for a little bit. Whatever you can do to help yourself not be distracted. Maybe get yourself a journal and pen um, to write down some thoughts, but also just sit in silence if you can and to be still and kind of decompress. So yeah, give yourself about three to five minutes to do that and then come back to this video. So now, as most of you know, and if you don't, um, over the summer we're going to take a little bit of a break as far as going with certain themes for our Sunday school time. We are going to meet once a month in person to do a service activity together. This is going to be a number of things and I hope that you can join us in person. It's going to be not this Sunday but next Sunday, June 20th, and we are meeting at the church doing an activity together and for that time you can find it in our group chat or in your weekly email. Um, so I hope you can join us for that. It's going to be something that's focused on service and mission and helping our local community. So we're going to be doing that. As well as throughout the summer, I'm gonna be making videos and hopefully doing some different fun things to help you um, still be engaged with Bible study or prayer or just reflection for yourself and to keep deepening your faith at home. So today we're just gonna have a short video um, on a specific thing that I would like you guys to think about and um, it's called the practice of being small. And so what's gonna happen is I want you guys at some point this week, maybe today or whenever you're watching this video, to go find something around you, hopefully in creation and outside. It can be inside too if you want, but it would work better if you're outside and um, reflecting on things in creation. And you're going to find something that is bigger than you in some sort of way, something that makes you think of yourself as small um, and something that helps humble you to, to see that there is more around you, um, that you serve a powerful and big God. And so this can be a tree. Um, so I have some trees around me, you know, a large tree that you're like, wow, I am not that big. And you know, that tree is so large and it is not worried about storms that come and it has sunlight and it is growing, you know. How can you reflect in that? Or maybe you can go out in, at the nighttime and see fireflies, or maybe you can look at the stars and think, wow, like I am so small in comparison to this big world, this um, all of this creation that God has made. Um, or maybe you see are next to a stream or some sort of river um, that reminds you, wow, like there is more to life than just me, than just my own circumstances. The whole practice is supposed to help you realize that there is more to this life than just us, just um, the things that we struggle with, the things that we face, and to help you see the bigger picture and take a step back and realize like, wow, God has made all of these things and is above and working in and through all of these things and still chose to make you and sees you as very good and knows your heart and your mind. So yeah, find that thing, um, take some time to reflect on why um, its bigness reminds you of being small and take some like a couple minutes or two to be in prayer um, over what God might be showing you through that thing whether it's a tree or a river or the stars or maybe you're near a huge monument or building or city um, maybe it's a huge big field next to a farm something like that that reminds you of how you are small and not not to be confused with insignificant because you are not insignificant but the fact that there are bigger things in this life and that in all of that being said that God is big and we serve a big and powerful and almighty God that 
is reminding you to humble yourself in the midst of everything when we have a culture that says, you know, me first and is so like me centered, just a reminder that God should be the center of our lives and the focus of certain things, okay? So go ahead and try that. I hope you have a good experience. Let me know how it goes if you do that. And then um, if you want to reflect more, there is going to be a verse to a couple of verses that you can read. For more reflection on this, um, check out Psalm 66 verses 1 through 7. And if you need other scripture references, you can find them on the next slide here within the video. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you next week as we do a service slash mission activity together. And I hope that this practice has helped you realize that God is in control of your life and that we serve a wonderful and purposeful and creative and magnificent and almighty God who has everything in control and who holds you so close and values you so much. Even though you are small in his vast kingdom, um, he loves you and values you so much. I hope you have an awesome week. See you soon.